argument in downtown Richmond escalates with a chair thrown and then gunfire. And new tonight, we now know that one bullet hit a nearby VCU building. The chaos began at the Jamaica House restaurant on West Broad Street. 8 News reporter Damon Reynolds is live there with, and he spoke with the owner and customers about this incident. Damon. Yeah, Eric, I'm actually right outside of Jamaica House where earlier there was actually a shell casing right here on the ground. Now, police telling us that mayhem extended all the way to an unknown VCU building that was also shot at nearby and also a woman driving on the wrong side of the road to catch her attacker. I can't imagine where it could go beyond this point. Owner Karina Isles of Jamaica House didn't expect that coming into work today, there would be shell casings on the ground or police flooding her business, all a result of a fight that broke out in her restaurant. It just doesn't make any sense anymore. But it makes sense to me that I should be able to leave my home, go to the store, and not be accosted and be assaulted. This is exactly what Richmond police say happened to one woman around 1030 this morning. According to officers, a woman was approached by 29-year-old Mark Banks as she was leaving a business on West Broad between Monroe and Henry Street. They got into an argument and police say Banks ended up throwing a metal chair at the woman. She told police she then grabbed her gun in self-defense and started shooting at him. He tried to run away, so she got in her car and pursued him down West Broad Street, but driving on the wrong side of the road. Now, the chase ended after VCU police pulled her over. Now, one local woman who is a regular at Jamaica House says the woman wasn't necessarily wrong for defending herself, but says there needs to be more responsibility for gun holders. She felt like she was in danger. Owning a gun, you have to have, you have to have, you have a responsibility when you own a gun. And they tell you that when you purchase a gun and then also when you go to get a permit and do training and things like that, you have a responsibility when you own a gun. Now, police did arrest Banks and charge him with malicious wounding. Now, they also tell us that other charges are possible as this investigation continues. Now, there is no word on if the woman will be charged or not. In Richmond, Damon Reynolds, 8 News.